Sandra Drozdovich, Labor Day, uh, at around 7.30 at night in one of Mondragon's company seating areas. We're sipping dry sodas, lime and lavender. Uh, so, Sandra, how long have you been a member of Mondragon? Well, I am one of the original founding members, so I started in 1996, 1995, if you want to go back to the pre-opening dates. So, 17, 18 years now. Ah, and uh, what are your favorite parts of working in your life? Well, I love working with all the people. I've met so many amazing people over the years both working with them and people in the community. So that to me is uh, the, the most amazing thing uh, about Montreal. And I also love, I love working collectively. Like I, that to me is the best way to organize. I love that you have all these different ideas and that you can take everyone's ideas and passions and knowledge and interests and just come up together and, and have this amazing idea come out of it. And I've, I've never lost that passion for working collectively. Is there anything about Montregon that uh, you find to be a bit of a challenge? <laughs> well, it is a challenge operating uh, a restaurant. Just the business itself is challenging. Uh, it's challenging operating in, in, the, in capitalism. It's challenging. Uh, operating bookstores, challenging operating a grocery store, and it's challenging in that the way we operate and the way we're organized is very different. So there's nothing we can really look towards to, to, to guide us a lot of the time. So we have to come up with different guidelines ourselves, and we have to make mistakes ourselves, and we have to learn from our mistakes, and it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to to work collectively, but it's uh, it's so important and so worthwhile in the end. Having experienced things from the beginning, uh, what would you say Montreal has done over the years, and and what is it currently doing in service to the community? I think Montreal has always maintained what it set out to do, which is to be a uh, center for the activists and to be the, the core of the case in itself. And I think that that's something we have always maintained, sometimes more, sometimes less, but I think that we have actually maintained that initial goal, which is to be a hub for the people and the activists in the, in the city. And I hope to see that continue, and I hope to see it expand. I hope that the community will see us as, as, as their place, like a place that they can come and they can participate in, We've already started to do that with the bookstore, and I, it's amazing to me. It's wonderful, and I hope that that pattern continues and that we become even more, even more part of the community. People can just come in and, and do it. You know, organize events or you know bring in products that they like to see, or suggest recipes, and just make it their own space. So, with that direction of events reaching a sort of apex, what? So, what uh, perspective do you have on Mondragon in an ideal form? Mondragon in an ideal form. I guess it would be similar to what it is now, but just more, more community involvement. And just, I think that we, we look, I think, a little too much sometimes to, to organizations and, and banks and places like that for help. And I think that if we look towards the community, which is what we're doing with this campaign, is I think that will ultimately be what benefits us in the end because we will have engaged the community, we'll involve the community, they will have a stake in what we do here and I think that will, that will just create a much better space and I think that will sustain us. Win -win scenario. It really is. <laughs> is there anything that you would like to add? Well, my children who have been at Mondragon since they've all been born would like to have a answer a question. Can't
time is running. So, this is also what I like about Mondragon, is that I met uh, my husband Jason here, who works here, father to all my wonderful children. And, yeah, I'm going to step up. So they've experienced Mondragon from the day they were born, and they would like to have uh, share their their favorite part of Mondragon. Should we do brief intros? Sure. This is Emily. She's twelve. That's Sage. She's ten. That's Andrew. He's seven. So Andrew, what's your favorite part of Mondragon? Made lots of friends. Made lots of friends. Sage, what's your favorite part of Mondragon? Sage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Emily? Food. Food. Food and friends. Especially lasagna. Lasagna. Lasagna <laughs> cake and friends. <laughs> that about sums it up. <laughs> the triad of Mondragon. Excellent. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Okay, so it's fun.